Good morning, folks. It's 7.09 a.m. on November 22nd, 2019, and I have some scriptures I want to go with you on the Word for today, Part 1 for November 20th, 2019. The Word for today, November 20th, 2019, Part 1. At 2.48 p.m. on November 20th, after I woke up from a nap, this verse and chapter, these, this, this chapter, and these verses came to my mind. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, lest his fear, lest any of you seem to have come short of it. For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them, but the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. Who heard it. For we have believed, do enter that rest, as he had said, so I swore in my wrath, they shall enter my rest. Although the war works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he has spoken in a certain place the seventh day in this way, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. Next up at 2.50 p.m. on November 20th, Now let the word of God be true, and every man a liar. This is found in Romans chapter 3, verses 4 through 8, key verse 4. Romans 3, 4 through 8. Certainly not. And indeed, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that you may be justified in your words and may be overcome when you are judged. But if our unrighteousness demonstrates the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God, in, is God unjust who inflicts wrath? I speak as a man. Certainly not. For then how will God judge the world? For if the truth of God has increased through my lie to his glory, why am I also still judged as a sinner? And why not say, let us do evil, that good may come? As we are slanderously report, reported, and as some affirm that we say, their condemnation is just. Finally, at 5.04 p.m., Hebrews chapter 6, verses 1 through 8, key verse 8. The book, the book of Hebrews chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. Therefore, leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying in the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards toward God, of the doctrine of baptism, of laying on of hands, of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this we will do, if God permits. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift, and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit, and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come, if they fall away to renew them again to repentance, since they crucify again for themselves the Son of God, and put him to an open shame. For the earth which drinks in the rain that often comes upon it, and bears herbs useful for those by whom it is cultivated, receives blessing from God. But if it bears thorns and briars, it is rejected and near to being cursed, whose end is to be burned. Okay, folks and family, that's it. That's the word for today, part one, for November 20th, 2019. The Word for Today, Part 1, November 20th, 2019. Everyone have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. I love you all very much. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. God loves you, and so do I. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye for now.